remember to drink responsibly. Hey, welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make not a yard of ale, but a meter of beer. So here's how we made it. Right, so here we are, we're making our meter of beer. First thing we've got to do is uh, come up with a design. And we're using, off, using all these offcuts up here, left from another job, these, the nice slat wall, as you can see here. And these are just all the offcuts that we've got from that. We had to make a use for these, and this is a perfect, perfect project to use them up. So because it's a hardwood, we've decided that what we're gonna do is not fix this together with nails and screws, but we're gonna use like some lap joints and just some glued joints um, along the way. And so, yeah, here we go. We, we've got our design in mind. It's, uh, we know for sure it's gonna be a meter long at this point. So we're just rough cutting all our pieces to length. Um, and when they're rough cut, what I like to do is take them all together and cut them all at once. Take them over the saw, cut them at once. And then they're all the same length and you get a nice clean cut as well doing it that way. Yeah, we've got this little glue up now for the side pieces. We want it slightly thicker timber because we're having the glue joints. We want more surface area to hold it all together. So that's why we've gone for the thicker sides, a little bit stronger as well. This simple glue up, just these lights, only lightly sanded, you know, not perfectly plain flat, but not at this point. Glued together, we left that little joint, little detail that we're gonna have in there that you'll see on the finished product. Up, clamped it down like homemade clamps you know just screwing some timbers over the top to the bench um, and we left that overnight and then um, came back took the clamps off and planed it through the planer So we had left over, we had some door casings, so we decided that we'd, we'd make use of that as well. It's slightly damaged this timber, but we just big enough <laughs> to, for us to use to get our bottles of beer in there. Um, plane that down, hand planed, and then we took it through the planer. Same time we planed that through, so it was nice and, nice and straight. We also planed the side pieces as well. So yeah, when we got that plane, we found we just, I think it was 61 millimetres we needed, or 60 point something millimetres, there was just enough space in there for us to get the bottles in, so we carried on, got the sides planed up, we got them to, we got this piece here to cut in half, so we'll have the two sides, and then we've got to figure out the pattern, or the shape of the two sides. Right, 
right, so yeah, then here we are. Beer bottle, this is one side, of course it's a little bit tall at the minute. So we're just trying to mark out a rough idea, a rough shape of what we're going to have. And also how much space we need to, to be able to get the beer out. It'd be no good having trapped beer. Right, so yeah, here we are, a bit of trial and error, just trying to figure out where we can put our top handle so we can still get our bottles of beer out. Marking out the shape you wanted for the sides of, of our meter of beer. Uh, nice simple design. And what we're going to do to join the side pieces is you just cut some little uh, notches out of these sides and, and have like a, a half lap joint, uh, just a glue joint, which you'll see. So I'm just now mapping out for those, just drawing around those. Use a depth stop on the saw and a little spacer so we could pull the workpiece away from the blade and just cut those nice and simply on, on there. And then also trying to figure out what kind of a handle we want on it. It would have been nice to use this ash slat as a handle, but there we decided in the end we'd go for a uh, broom handle. Um, easier and also gave a little bit more room so we could get the beer out. pieces cut we got the, the two sides the two end pieces and the bottom piece cut it's usual that uh, you know we go and get a little dry fit make sure it all works and with the sizes of the off cuts we had we just couldn't quite use it. I didn't want to trim this piece of ash down so we decided of course to go for the, the broom handle there's a there's the handle across the top um, and again nice and simple just cut that at a meter long these are two sides of those notches cut out, ready to take those glued joints. So yeah, with all that dry fit, just giving it a sand, a little bit of fill, filler here and there where it was needed. Not too much though, but going through the grits with the sand, with the sander, down to I think about a 120. All the pieces sanded. Um, got the holes drilled now as well, ready for the handle across the top. We just placed the two sides together, marked out, and just drilled them both at the same time so we knew that it'd be nice and and uh, level when we put it in yeah we've used here a colored filler it was close to the color of the ash but not perfect but we thought it was good enough to use and then we had another change of design we, we the original we didn't know whether to have like holes drilled in the bottom or cut some circles out for the bottles to fit in but what we decided to do was put some little um, spaces across the top piece so here we are just cutting those out all mapped out and we've got a little um, 
guide on that rail in the back of the saw and we're just lining up our lines with that so we get them nice and uniform and then cut both sides to match. Always recommend doing that. If you've got two things to line up, try and cut them both together. To ensure that all our cuts for these little spaces were the same, we cut one, made it, made sure it was perfect, and then we offered it up to the saw again and we could use that as a pattern for moving our piece across. Um, just that little distance, so every time we ran the saw through, all of the slats would be the same. Oh yeah, here we are now, just a little stop block on the saw, just cutting our little spacer pieces. So they're all the same, nice and uniform. That's all there, then it's over. Another dry fit and on with the glue, a few clamps. Um, important here to get, make sure everything was nice and square and it all went together. <laughs> it's always a bit of a rush on these glue ups. Already glued the middle piece there. That was a little steady glue up, just put them together and held them with some weights on top. And there you go, handle in and that was it. Ready for a little bit more sanding and filling. Yeah, we just left that again overnight. It used a bit of Gorilla Glue there, it has a little bit of, it's nice and strong and also fluffs up nice and fills a little bit of a gap filler as well. But made sure all the joints were nice and tightly clamped. There you go, just tying it all up, making sure everything's in line as well. Making sure that the top and the bottom are parallel and running down, running in line as well. And making sure, most importantly, that the bottles still fit. So we left them overnight. Take it off, a bit of glue squeeze out to clean up. Trim the sides, a bit of sanding. So that was a final little clean up with the blade there just to shave over prior to staining. We used the stain which was a, a wax and oil mix and we gave it two or three coats. So you could use it outdoors, but ready for those summer barbecues. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was a great little product that one. Yeah, clear satin finish. We didn't want anything too shiny. And that was it. And we had an afterthought that this could be a great gift with a personalised message on here for anybody. Father's Day's coming up, you could write something on there. I uh, hope you've liked this video and if you have, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment below what you think. And don't forget to drink responsibly and we'll see you on the next one.